In our last episode, we spoke about sexual harassment against men. In this episode, let's find out how we can make sexual harassment complaints clearer and safer. As we all know, sexual harassment can happen to anyone, regardless of their gender. Sexual harassment isn't confined to a specific location either. It can happen anywhere, especially in an office. There are also many forms of sexual harassment. It can happen physically as well as verbally. If you feel uncomfortable in a situation, you have every right to say, Stop! Personal consent is important when it comes to sexually related conversation and interactions. If employers or HR don't take sexual harassment seriously, employees may not feel safe working in that space anymore. This could contribute to a hostile work environment. Verbal complaint might often be taken lightly or ignored by employers. However, this shouldn't make you feel like you're being petty or oversensitive. Please remember, you aren't responsible for other people's inappropriate actions. The easiest way to follow from a complaint is via email or letter. Now let's dive into the deeds. First, give your email a clear and concise subject line, such as official complaint of sexual harassment. This will ensure your complaint gets the attention it deserves. When it comes to the recipient, we encourage you to include both your superior and HR, unless you have a specific reason not to include either party. By adding both parties, you will increase the efficiency in following up on your case. Let's compose an email together, shall we? Always start off your email with a clear and concise intention. Nothing more, nothing less. Dear Bear and Hari Manager, I'm writing this email to you because Baya has been harassing me. The following incidents have occurred. You can now recount the incidents and harassment. This will put things into better perspective for your recipients. Here is how you can recount the incidents. List the events in point form for easier reference. It will help if you can state the date of the incident, mention names of potential witnesses, and also attach proof, such as screenshots of text, pictures, emails, and so on. The more detailed your information is, the more helpful it will be for the team investigating your case. To wrap up your email, let the recipient know that you are willing to cooperate on any part of the investigation. Lastly, clearly state that you want the harasser to leave you alone. Now you can sign off. Of course, once the complaint is made, things just get started. Your supervisor and HR will need to talk to the accused as well to get both sides of the story. That's why it's important to recount the incidents as honestly and clearly as possible. It will smoothen the whole investigation process. We hope this episode of Elephant in the Office has helped you to gather a bit of courage to fight against sexual harassment. Please let us know if you have any questions and leave us a comment below.